In this video I'm going to show how to backtest the Connors high probability ETF trading strategies using EdgeRater. The latest version of EdgeRater has the high probability ETF um, trading strategies in. There are 75 separate scripts and they're all under high probability ETF trading and if you scroll down you'll see that there are seven sections, one for each of the seven strategies. What do all of the scripts do? Well, if, the best way to find out what the scripts do actually is to look at the security chart and to put a couple of the scripts over onto the chart area. So I'll remove the volume area, I'll remove the MACD indicator, and I'll just, uh, let's look at percent %B as an example. Percent %B long entry one. There we go. We get a signal every time there is an entry for percent %B, the first entry. If we're looking for the aggressive strategies, then there'll be a second entry. Um, if I put that into the chart area down here, you'll find that the second entry is shown. So that's what the long entry one, long entry two do. Now long entry combined is one and two together. So here we have um, one and the second signal comes in as well. So uh, that's one and two. Now these are all useful scripts for different parts of testing depending on what you want to do. The long exit obviously is the exit signal. Um, if we want to see that on its own we can put that in there. And if you want to see the whole system together with all the longs and the shorts uh, all wrapped up in one then it's the system. So each one of the strategies has a system uh, script. And here you can see the signals, the, the long entry, uh, long entry 2 and exit. Uh, and also the short the shorts are also in here. Uh, if you scroll back through the chart you'll find some uh, shorts too. Uh, so that's basically what the scripts do. Now we have to use them to do some testing. Let's go back to the entries and exits tab. And so for instance, say we wanted to do a back test on the Connors 20 ETFs. I already have my snapshot set up with uh, three years worth of data in here. What I would do is um, I'm say I'm interested in testing the percent %B system, the long the long side, so percent %B long. What I would do is I'd put the combined entry into the entry design area and I'd run that to get all of my uh, entry events. I click over to exits and I'll put my long exit into the exit design and I'll get all my exits. So basically I've generated all the signals now, I just go to the trade simulation to try some separate uh, separate strategies. So First thing I would do is make sure that I have my my entry bar set up properly. So if you want to enter next bar and open, you can have that set in here. If you want to uh, exit next bar on open, you can have that set in here. Or if you want to do entry on close of the of the signal day, then you click on the uh, event bar on close and exit event bar on close too. So I always make sure I've got exit event set in the trade exit rules. I don't want to do a fixed hold period. I want to use the exit event. And I'll say exit on last bar. That's useful because we don't want to have any trades open at the end. We want full trades, full trade reporting here. Um, so I can just hit run here. Let me go to my trade list and I'll just hit run. And it will show me the number of trades that are generated, the uh, PL for each trade. I have to go through the portfolio rules and make sure I've got things set up in here too. Um, what I would say is for testing a two entry, so if I'm doing the aggressive entry, I want to allow duplicates, otherwise it's not going to take the second entry. And I want to scale in the duplicates and I want to scale them in, in this case, on a 50-50 basis. Uh, the 10, 20, 30, 40 is useful useful for a TPS, which has those four scaling points. But for uh, for the all the other strategies, a 50, 50 scaling is good. Um, or whatever you decide you want to test, <laughs> you can test uh, test anything with uh, with the program. So you can say how many dollars per trade you want to make and what your initial equity is, and put in commissions too. I'm going to leave commissions initial equity um, at zero. I'll say. Yeah, $1,000 per trade is fine, $10,000 per trade is fine, whatever you want to uh, to test. So once we've got all that set up, I'm not going to click on maximum number of open positions. I'm just going to leave that uh, to take all of, this, all of the positions that come up and hit the run. Fine, there are 280 trades. Remember here that a trade is a position because I'm doing the aggressive version um, and I'm scaling in. That's actually 280 positions. Could be more trades because... Um, for some of the trades there's going to be two for, for some of the positions there's going to be two trades for some of the positions there's going to be one trade 
So that is uh, how you would set that up. Um, and then you'd go to the trade summary. You'd be able to see what your win rate is. There's 75% winners here, 25% losers. Uh, we could see what the average profit and loss per trade is here too. Um, if you want to then click over and see uh, what the stats are for trading on the close instead of trading on the open, then make sure your entry bar is set to enter on the event bar on close and exit on the event bar on close too, and then click on run. And now we have, you see that that has improved our percentage of winners to 82% from 75, and also improved our average profit and loss per trade um, to 1.22%. So very quickly we can find out all of the uh, the stats, and this is going over the three that three years of data, but we st the, the amount of data that we are testing over is three years, but because there's a 200 period moving average uh, involved in all of these calculations, it's not going to start generating trades until after the 200th bar. So that's you know somewhere um, towards the end of the first year of that data. We can find out what the first trade is actually by going to the trade list. Yeah, we can see that our first entry is February 26th, 2009, but our data actually started on, let's go back up here, to it, it started on February 19th, 2008, but we're looking at long side trades, so there may not have been long trades available at that part of 2008. You remember we were in a pretty much a uh, bear market at that point. Okay, so we can we can look at each individual trade if we want by double clicking on here. Um, you might want to put in the actual system into the area down here. I can actually remove this chart area, and now I can see the actual entries and exits. Uh, another useful thing to look at in the trade simulation is the next end bars report. So now we get a statistics chart shows us um, how how the the gain loss frequency worked out. If there's more trades to the right of the vertical blue bar, then there are more winning trades. And you see here that there were 99 trades that made made between one and two percent, which is quite nice. Uh, and you can see to the left of the blue bar here there's a way fewer trades than there are to the right. So obviously this is a strategy that has a higher probability of success. So basically that's it, how to trade. I'm gonna do a more in-depth video on some of the strategies a bit later, but uh, for you all to get started, um, have a play around with it. You'll find the, as I say, you'll find the uh, scripts all under high probability ETF trading. There are 75 in total, um, uh, but they are grouped into seven separate groups and uh, I've given you a flavor for what uh, each of the scripts does. So yeah, have fun, play around and uh, look out for the next video. Thanks, bye.